Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Nathalina here. So as it is International Women's Day, I thought I'd use this opportunity to encourage all the women around the world to attend their cervical screening tests. So I'm a practice nurse, I work in a GP, and sometimes do up to 15 smears a day. I recently had my first smear a couple of weeks ago, so I thought, you know, in light of that new information, plus the information of being a smear taker, I'd be able to help somebody out there. So smears prevent at least 75% of cervical cancer, so it's a massive amount. However, one in three young women don't attend their smear, so this is alarming. Cervical cancer is preventable, guys, so please attend. The test itself is looking for any abnormal cells that could develop into cervical cancer, and the test identifies any of these abnormal cells and allows us to deal with it before it becomes an issue. So you'll be seen by a doctor or a nurse and you'll just have a consultation, a little chat about um, yourself, if you understand what the smears, a smear test is looking for, it gives you an opportunity to ask any questions and plus we will ask you questions such as, you know, your name, address, last period, if you're on any contraception. The next step will be for you to undress from the waist down and lie on a couch such as this one. The person taking the smear will use one of these which is a speculum to go into the vagina. So this is a medium speculum. These come in a range of sizes, small, large, long. So the person taking the smear will look at you and make a judgment. Or if you are someone who um, wants just to try a small because maybe you're a virgin, you know, the option is there. So this speculum is used to enter the vagina. Um, some lubricant might be applied to help make it a bit easier for you enter the vagina and at the point where the cervix is located the speculum is open ever so slightly and then a brush a special brush is put through and is twisted 360 six plus times closed removed and disposed the cells on this lovely brush can you see it's a special brush um, are dipped into a sample pot, shaking, 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 sitting away to the lab, and it can take a couple of weeks for the results to come back. In the UK, women of the age of 25 and upwards are invited for a smear. However, really, it's technically um, women from 24 and a half, because six months before your 25th birthday, you are invited in to have your smear. So as long as you have your letter to prove that you know you've been invited, you can have your smear from 24 and a half. The first bit of uncomfortability can be when you're entering, the second can be when we're opening, and sometimes taking this, taking the sample, it feels weird. Like from my experience, it felt a little bit weird. It felt like somebody was tickling my insides. It was like, ooh, okay, this is weird. So this is not in for longer than a minute. In most cases, about a minute, and everything is done in under a minute. So it's pretty quick. I'd say just try and relax as much as you can. Talk to the person who's doing it. Like I tend to do, patients say it helps to relax them. No, nothing you need to prepare for in terms of this test. We just advise patients or people not to be on their periods for obvious reasons. Um, but you can have your smear test, that smear test done at any time during your cycle, apart from you being on your period. With that being said, guys, if you want me to do a video on abnormal cells or anything else related, related to vaginas, really, um, let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope we'll give you enough information and give you the nudge to go and have your smear test or if you've had it just have a conversation with your friends your colleagues ask them have you done it because i tend to ask everybody have you had your smear so do that um the there isn't enough awareness out there people don't realize how you know this test can prevent the worst which is cancer so guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching stay tuned for my next video